Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.65 When that self-controlled person attains the stage of joyfulness, all of his miseries are dispelled and his intelligence soon becomes completely fixed upon attaining his desired goal. Sar Ardavarshini Buddhihi Parya Vatishtate means that in all respects his intelligence becomes stable and fixed on the desired goal. Thus he remains happy whether he accepts sense objects or not. Prasana Chitasaha indicates that it should be understood that internal happiness will come only from bhakti, because without bhakti the heart cannot become pleased. This has been explained vividly in the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, which describes how Vyasadeva's mind was not happy even after he had compiled Vedanta Sutra. However, when he followed the instructions of Sri Narada, his heart became blissful through the exclusive practice of bhakti. Sar Ardavarshini Prakashikariti The heart can be pleased only by bhakti, rendering loving devotional service to Sri Bhagavan. Bhakti removes all miseries, and in a very short period, a person who practices bhakti easily becomes fully fixed at the lotus feet of his worshipful Lord. This is also described in the dialogue between Vyasa and Narada in Srimad Bhagavatam from Krita Ratena Hi Maya 1.4.28 to Yamati Pir Yoga Patayaha Kamalo Bahato Muhu. 1.6.35 When the sadaka practices yama and niyama, sense control by observing strict regulations, which are on the path of the eightfold process of yoga, the mind, which is always under the control of lust and greed, attains a certain level of happiness and peace. However, there is no comparison between this and the intermediate and immense pleasure attained by service to Bhagavan Sri Krishna. Srimad Bhagavatam 1.6.35 In this regard, it is worth deliberating on the examples of Sob Hari Rishi, Yayati Maharaja, Vishwamitra Muni and others. Sob Hari Rishi was unable to control his mind even after performing austerities within the water of the Yamuna for ten thousand years. His mind became agitated by seeing fish engaging in sex life. He emerged from the water to marry the fifty daughters of King Mantata, but his lust remained unsatiated, even after enjoying with them by expanding himself into fifty forms. Eventually, he attained his desired goal by controlling his senses through the worship of Sri Bhagavan. Yayati Maharaja was not able to control his mind, despite various endeavors. He exchanged his old age for the youth of his son Puru and enjoyed for many years but his lusty desires increased, just as ghee nourishes fire. He could only attain peace when he finally fixed his mind in the worship of Bhagavan. Although Vishwamitra Muni engaged in severe austerities by practicing shama, mind control, and dhamma, sense control, and subduing his senses, he still abandoned his austerities upon hearing Minaka's ankle bells and became absorbed in lustful activity. His agitated mind eventually only found peace in the worship of Bhagavan. This conclusion is specifically verified in the dialogue between Vyasa and Narada in the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. 
Vidavyasa had already divided the Vedas into four parts and had compiled Mahabharata, the Puranas and Vedanta Sutra, although he had described knowledge of religious duty, dharma and other such topics, for the information of people in general, his mind remained unsatisfied. Unable to understand why, he inquired from his spiritual master, Sri Narada. Srimad Bhagavatam 1.5.8-9 O great sage, you have described the process of mundane religiosity, dharma, and knowledge, jnana, which I consider to be incomplete and insignificant. But you have not clearly described the topics of Sri Bhagavan's most purifying pastimes and their glories. Sri Bhagavan cannot be pleased unless one glorifies such pastimes, which manifest themselves in the purified mind by the performance of bhakti. Following the instructions of Narada Muni by performing bhakti yoga, Vyasa was able to see in his pure heart all of Sri Krishna's beautiful pastimes, which are full of Aishwarya, opulence, and Madhurya, sweetness. Srimad Bhagavatam consists of the activities of Sri Krishna, which Vyasa realized in his devotional trance or samadhi. Yasyam vai shuyamanayam Krishna Parama Purushe Bhaktir Utpadyate Pumshaha Shoka Moha Baya Paha Srimad Bhagavatam 1.7.7 By the culture of hearing and following this Srimad Bhagavatam, devotion to Rajendra Nandana, Sri Krishna, immediately manifests in the heart, dispelling lamentation, delusion and fear.